Hey guys, I'm here to do another video for you today. Um, today I just want to do, do a video on drugstore highlighters because highlighting has been all the rage lately and I absolutely love highlighter. Like it's my favorite makeup product ever. Um, so I have like a huge collection here of like drugstore highlighters that are decently priced and I wanted to share with you guys kind of like my go-to's and my like ones that I would definitely say you guys should get. So I tried to kind of stick with some that most people don't mention because a lot of the time I hear like the same repetitive ones over and over. So like the Wet n Wild Tiki and, or um, Hard Candy Tiki and the Wet n Wild one, like those are great ones as well, but I did not mention them in this video, um, even though I do have them and I think they're nice highlighters. I didn't mention them because I think there's better ones out there and they're still great for a drugstore affordable price. So I try to keep this kind of um, different in the sense that I'm trying not to repeat what other people do because I know a lot of you are probably have seen other people's videos. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so I'm going to first talk about these e.l.f. Bake Highlighters. Now, this is something that a lot of people do talk about, but I've recently discovered these and um, even some of their blush um, colors and eyeshadows work as highlighters. So that's the reason why I wanted to mention this because I'm not just talking about their highlighters in general. Um, I haven't tried all three of their highlighters, but I have tried the shade um, Blush Gems, and this is a beautiful highlight. I did try this one time and it is gorgeous. This actually reminds me a lot of Becca Opal. I literally got Becca Opal in the mail the other day. I swatched it. They don't look similar in the pan, but they are very similar. I don't know if you guys can see, but they have the same, like, they swatch very similar. Like, I was kind of upset because I was, like, thinking that I didn't have anything like Opal. But Opal still is on its own, like, level, you know what I mean? But um, this is only $3, and I got mine offline. And I have the other shade, Pink Diamonds, which I think is gorgeous. But I have two of them, and they're, well, let's just break it more. I have two of them, and they're broken. So, like, one's completely, like, shattered. I tried to repair it and, like, kind of, like, DIY, like, refurbish it. Or whatever you want to call it, like, put it back together. That's what it turned out to. Yeah, wasn't having it. So, um, I have not actually tried this on my face, but I have swatched this before. It's gorgeous as well. So, if you are interested in, like, more of a pink highlight, I would suggest that. This one's more of, like, a champagne glow bronze kind of look. It's really pretty. I'll swatch it for you guys. That's what it looks like. You can't probably see, but... Let's watch it right there. It almost looks like it's got like a golden look to it. And this one I find is a little rough, but you layer these and it's just like beautiful. See? Still really nice. So that one and the eyeshadow that I was going to tell you guys about is this e.l.f. baked eyeshadow in the shade Moonlight Serenade. It's beautiful. Look at this. It's like a white gold. You see that? That'd be such a gorgeous highlight on the cheeks. And I just think, you know, people forget that you can use these as highlights as well. It's the one down here. So gorgeous, right? And then the e.l.f. Baked Blush. This is in the shade Pinktastic. This is a beautiful highlighter. It's got some pink in there, but it's mostly like this gorgeous champagne color. Um, I tried to use this as a blush actually when I first got it, and I ended up actually just putting it on my cheekbones because it's a gorgeous highlight. It's that bottom one right there. So you can see the difference between all three. So that's that for e.l.f. Um, the eyeshadows I think are like, I'm not sure how much um, I got mine on sale at... Um, where did I find this at? TJ Maxx. It was either TJ Maxx or Ross or, no, not Ross, Marshalls. Um, I think I got it for like $2 and change, but I think normally these might be around $3. 
If not, less, you know, because e.l.f. is like super affordable. Okay, so another eyeshadow that I want to talk to you guys about is this L'Oreal um, Infallible Eyeshadow. This is in the shade Eternal Sunshine. It is the most beautiful, like, straight-up gold color. One of the prettiest that I have. It is so intense, and it's probably a dupe for, um, what is that shade that everybody's been talking about? That MAC one? Um... I forget what it's called, but the new MAC one from their holiday collection that nobody can get their hands on anymore, including me, because I really wanted it. But, um, yeah, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh, darling. Yeah, this is probably a dupe for that. I wouldn't say it is for sure, but I mean, it's like a straight gold, so it probably is. Look at that. What? You can use that on your freaking cheeks, girl, and you're going to be looking like you just came out of like gold literally so I love to use eyeshadows I have a couple other ones from this line that I love to use as highlighters as well that work just as good if not better I mean because these are 24 hour and they literally do not budge like no matter what and they stay that sheen like you see what I'm saying like they stay that kind of like bright sheen and yeah, I mean, you could even use Milani eyeshadows, the Bella shadows for these too, for a highlighter and you'd be good girl. So this is around like six, seven dollars, depending on where you get it. They're really great shadows. Um, okay. This is a e.l.f. Healthy Glow Bronzer. This is in the shade Sunkissed. I tried to use this in a tutorial as a bronzer because I thought it was going to be a bronzer. I swatched it on my face while well, I put it on my face without swatching it it's like a gold bronze highlight it's so pretty it's the one right down here I don't know if you guys can see it I got mine at the Dollar Tree and I've seen this for a dollar at multiple different places so if you guys are looking for a really cheap pretty like bronzy type highlight I would highly recommend that one and it works really good. It's so cute. And then um, I'm going to talk about now the Forever 21 Love and Beauty brand. This is the Illuminating Bronzer. And it has three different colors in here. I think I've talked about this before. I don't know if I've done a highlighter video. If I have, I mean, I just wanted to talk to you guys about them again because I found some more good ones. I don't know. So this is what it looks like. It's got like a white shade, like kind of like a white champagne, a bronze shade, and a kind of like champagne -y gold type. I'll swatch all three of them, but you, like normally I like to mix this together. You can see the shades right there. I just like to mix them all together and put them on my face. Um... They're in this little area. You probably can't see because not only does my lighting suck, but I had a whole bunch of other swatches on. So I'm just going to kind of swirl my finger in between all of these colors for you. I think at Forever 21, this is like literally 3 or $4. Look at that. So pretty. Gorgeous. A lot of people don't talk about the Love & Beauty brand, and I'm not sure why because I have not found like anything. I mean, I found maybe a couple products from their brand that I don't like, but most of it I absolutely love. I There's so much good stuff that they have there. So I'd highly recommend this for a um, highlighter, even though it says it's a bronzer. I mean, does that look like a bronzer to you? It's like a highlight to me, baby girl. Okay. So now we're going to talk about the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Powder Glow Illuminator. This is in the shade W for warm, um, golden. And the reason why I like this is because I have a lot of yellow in my skin tone. So I am a very warm skin tone. Um, but I do want to talk to you guys about this. A lot of people hate this because it's chunky and it's glittery. Well, I happen to absolutely love it. I think it is one of the prettiest highlighters that I have. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here. I really just love the sheen that it gives your face. I don't know. Let me put a little bit more on. I don't use the little, like, 
they have like four different colors in here. I swirl my brush together to get the color that I want for a highlight. And under the liquid illuminator, which is what I should have showed you guys, hold on. That one, the golden liquid illuminator, this one and this one are like a winning home run for me. Like they are absolutely amazing. Now these are a little bit more pricey compared to the stuff I've been talking about. These are like $10 a piece. Um, but they are well worth it to me at least. I know a lot of people don't like, again, they don't like the powder, but look at that sheen it gives you. I just really like it. It's this one right here. And the two together give the most beautiful golden highlight. Like you will be like golden for days. Like you can literally see it from like a mile away. So that's why I really like it because I'm super into intense highlighters. I'm trying to rub off my hand. Now I have like highlighter all over my hand, but I want to show you guys swatches. Um, and I forgot my makeup wipes, so good. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the Ulta Illuminating Powders. I have the shade Pink Diamond and Yellow Diamond. I do believe these are the only two colors it comes in, as you can see. Now they don't look like much in the pan. I'm going to take my gum out because it's hard to talk. Hello. Okay. They don't look like much in the pan, um, but when you swatch them, they are so creamy, so buttery. Honestly, these are more creamy and buttery than the Becca Cosmetics ones that I have. So this one is Yellow Diamond. It is the most beautiful, like, white shade with gold I have ever seen. Look at that. So beautiful. Um, it's just so freaking pretty. Like, yes. That one right there. And I think these run about $8 a piece. They're so worth it, I promise you. And this one is in the shade Pink Diamond. I love this one too because it's very unique. It's got that pink um, with the gold, which is very different. And I love it. Where is it? Right here. You can see that. I'm going to take my little uh, makeup removing wipe because I literally can't not do this. You guys aren't going to be able to see the swatches correctly if I keep wiping it off with my hand. So I'm going to try and give you like a better quality of what like each one looks like and all that good stuff. So now I want to talk about the Physicians Formula Natural Nude Palette. This is awesome. You can use this as eyeshadows. You can use the bottom part as a bronzer. You can use the bottom part for a, a bronzy highlight. You can use the top part for just a highlight on your cheekbones. You can use this for pretty much anything. I think this little thing says, it says you can use it as blush, bronzer, highlight, a base on the lid, contour, eyeliner, just a whole bunch of stuff you can use. Um, I prefer to use this palette strictly for highlighting because I literally think these shades for highlighting are just phenomenal. My favorite is the top row because it's more of the white. And then this one is the more bronze. But you can swirl your brush together and get the entire like pan and get a gorgeous like mix between the two. But this is what they look like separately. Beautiful. That runs around $11 to $13, I believe. So that is a little bit more pricey for drugstore, but it's definitely worth it. And they're so creamy and really smooth and really nice. So I recommend those as well as these Wet n Wild Fergie palettes. These are the Center Stage Collection Two Reflect Shimmer Palettes. I have the shade Hollywood Boulevard and the shade Rose Champagne Glow. I love both of these. This Rose Champagne Glow one is a really pretty, like, white, pinky highlight. It's mostly, I would say like more of like a champagne, like it says. Um, so that's what it looks like. So gorgeous. These are about $5 at Walmart. So you guys should pick these up for sure. Cause they're massive. Like look at how much product you get. Are you ever going to use that much? Probably not, but might as well have more than less, you know? And then this is Hollywood Boulevard. I love this one. This one in the pan is funny because it has like pink in it, but I kid you not, this is a straight gold, and it is one of the most beautiful highlighters I own. Look at it down there. Oh my god. This might even be a dupe for that MAC one, oh darling. So, check it out. 
Sorry, I keep messing with my hair because I have a hoodie on and I don't normally wear hoodies and my hair gets knotted with hoodies if I keep it back there. But I don't know. I, I wanted to wear a hoodie because it's like 70 degrees out in Florida. Actually, it might be a little bit more than that. But that's like chilly for us. I don't think it's chilly, but I just want to look like it's chilly. I have problems. Anyway, <laughs> I have this Milani Tantastic Face and Body Baked Bronzer. This is in the shade Fantastic in Gold. And this is a really pretty bronzer and highlighter. Now, depending on your skin tone, you can get away with using the entire thing for a um, highlight. Now, some people don't like a bronzy highlight. Some people just like, like a straight white or whatever. But I find that what's great about this product is that you can stick to the more white areas and give you a really nice highlighting glow. Or you can stick to this bronzy area and you can give yourself a bronzy glow. So it just depends on what you like and what your skin tone is. This is what the two look like. You can definitely see a lot more gold in the white one and a lot more bronze in the other one just because it's going to give you a different look or you could just swirl it all around like I do. Um, but yeah, this is, I think it's like around six or seven dollars. So that's a good thing. And then I have this BH Cosmetics Wild and Radiant Baked Illuminating and Bronzing Palette. Now, unfortunately, BH Cosmetics is not sold in stores. However, look at this packaging now. Like, how cute is this? Like, have you ever seen anything that cute? No. And it's really great to travel with. It's got, like, the mirror here, and it just... It's a really great palette. So I will swatch all four of these huge highlighters for you. As you can see, they're very, very bright. Um, so these go on sale for usually around like $8 to $10 um, on their website, depending on when you pick this up. I picked mine up, I think, for $8, and then, like, two weeks after, it went on sale for, like, 6 So, it just depends on when you get it, you know, and, um, like, what sale that you're going to get it on. So, I really love BH Cosmetics. They're baked, which is great, because you can use these wet or dry. Um, if you use these wet, I guarantee you, you'll be highlighted for days, because that is, like, already a very pigmented product, and then to make them wet would be crazy intense so you see how great pigmented pigmented that's not a word pigmented they are <laughs> um, you get the two bronzier shades and the two like champagne shades so I really like this palette I can't believe I just said that it was funny and then I have some ColourPop um, super shock cheek pearlized highlighters this one is in the shade smoke and whistles and this one I like a lot, even to use on the inner corner as a highlight, um, because it's like a white shade. See how gorgeous that is? It's like an ice white straight highlight. So I do recommend this if you have light to medium skin tones. They could look gorgeous. I'm not sure how this would look for deeper skin tones, but um, I'm sure it'd still be pretty, you know. And then this one has been my favorite lately. This is Wisp. I just got this not too long ago. It is the most gorgeous gold highlight ever. Maybe not ever, but close. And I love the consistency of these. I think they are so soft and so nice to the touch. Um, the trickier thing, this is Wisp. The trickier thing about these is the application. What I would highly recommend is if you guys use your finger to apply it, or you use a small stippling brush. I like to use my e.l.f. small stippling brush um, like after I kind of pat it out with my finger. And then it really gives you that strong highlight. So, yes. And then the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is my Makeup Revolution Highlighting Power Powder Palette. Um, this has three highlighters in it. This packaging is gorgeous. I had to keep it because I just can't say no to packaging. Um, but this is what it looks like. And what I really love about this is I think in the UK, which is where this is like based off of, so this is an online only thing as well, I do believe, um, except for certain um, Ulta's carry it, but none of mine do near me. So the past like three things that I've been talking about to you guys are online only, like ColourPop's online only. These are $8, by the way, if I did not mention, $8 a piece. 
but they're amazing and you get a lot in there so it's a good deal now this i believe was 12.99 i think in pounds it's like eight pounds if you live in the uk so that is what the three colors look like you might not be able to tell the difference but there is a golden golden yellow white shade a pink shade and like more of like a lilac type shade i believe this one is golden lights i believe that one is peach lights and pink lights so and they have them um sold individually as well but i got the palette because um, I think they're like $5 a piece and it's like you might as well get one for free. You get what I'm saying? If you spend like $12 on the palette. Um, so this is what they look like. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Where's that one? That, the one that didn't swatch that well, pink lights. I, it's a lot more intense, but these are to die for. Like, look at that. Oh my God. I don't want to ever take these off my hand. Um, now I have ordered recently the e.l.f. highlighter palette, so I will talk about that, the illuminating palette, it's called, um, when I get it. I did see some nice swatches, so I'm sure that's going to be one of my favorites, but I wanted to show you guys what my current highlighter favorites were from the drugstore for very affordable prices. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any suggestions on what you want to see in my next video, Please let me know down below. I can do a drugstore favorite blushes. I could do just kind of stuff like that for affordable prices. I figured I'd just do the highlights because everybody's talking about their highlight right now. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.